In Foundation Season 2 Episode 2, there are references to Hober Mala, a significant character from the original Foundation book, who has the potential to bring about transformative changes for Terminus and the entire Foundation. This episode highlights how the Foundation has cleverly transformed its advanced technology into a religious belief system to expand its influence over new planets, effectively establishing a new empire. Despite possessing far more advanced technology than the neighboring kingdoms near Terminus, the Foundation adopts the strategy of scientism to forge stronger connections with these planets. Hari Sildan, a key figure in the Foundation, is now revered as a prophet who prophesied the existence of the Galactic Spirit. His return from the Vault is regarded as a sacred event, yet it's important to note that he didn't actually appear from the Vault. In his final moments, Warder Yeager's last words were a mysterious instruction to dot 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 find Hober Mallow. So who is Hober Mallow? And why Hari Selden need him to Svi Foundation? Stay till the very end of this video to find out. Also if you like, remember to like and subscribe for more. In Foundation Season 2 Episode 2, Warden Yeager met his demise while attempting to access the Vault. Before his death, he urged the inhabitants of Terminus to locate a person named Hober Mallow. This revelation strongly indicates that Mallow already exists during this period of the Foundation series, a notable departure from the original books. In the Foundation book, Mallow played a crucial role in utilizing commerce to the Foundation's advantage. However, the ongoing events in Foundation Season 2 are currently centered around the religious era of Hari Seldon's plan. It will be intriguing to witness how Hober Mallow's presence intertwines with the present-day timeline of Foundation Season 2. Currently in Foundation Season 2, there are two distinct versions of Hari Seldon's consciousness, and they appear to be interconnected. The first version of Hari Seldon is portrayed in the Prime Radiant, and is accompanied by Gaul and Salver. In a significant moment, this Hari Seldon learns about the importance of Hober Mallow through Gaul's vision. Following Gaul's glimpse into her future self, the Vault on Terminus is activated but Hari Seldon's consciousness doesn't manifest directly. Instead, it seems that the Vault communicates through Warden Yeager, urging the Foundation to seek out Hober Mallow. The design of the Vault undergoes a change, and Mallow's name is inscribed on it. In the original Foundation book, Hober Mallow plays a crucial role in establishing the Foundation's influence and power across the galaxy. However, the character's approach differs significantly from that of Salver Hart, though both actions align with Hari Seldon's grand plan. The reason why Selden would desire Mallow's involvement with the Foundation during its religious era remains a mystery. In Foundation Season 2, Episode 2, we witness Foundation members spreading the message of the Galactic Spirit and the teachings of Prophet Hari Selden to other planets. The ideology of scientism, central to Hari Selden's plan, becomes prominent during this phase. Considering that the Foundation show's timeline is moving very differently from the books, the Foundation's religious era might not be covered in too many episodes. More than 138 years have already passed since the first Selden crisis, after all. Selden may be aware that the Foundation's scientism will not last long, and that a new strategy will be necessary. That said, Salver Harton and the Foundation's scientism should play an important role in the second crisis based on what happens in the book. In Asimov's Foundation, Hober Mallow started out as a skilled trader, facilitating business deals within and beyond the Foundation's territory. Despite playing a crucial role in expanding the Foundation's influence through commerce, Hober Mallow wasn't initially a formal member of the Foundation. His focus was on personal gain as he crafted deals that served his interests. Hober Mallow held the belief that the Foundation's reliance on scientism could only go so far in asserting its power across the galaxy. As a merchant, he proposed a different approach for the first Foundation to strengthen its position through trade and commerce. For instance, when he was dispatched to Coral to investigate the disappearance of nuclear-powered ships, Hober Mallow sought to form alliances without relying on the Hari Selden religion. While Salver Hardin used Foundation priests to bring new planets into the emerging empire, Mallow opted for business deals to resolve crises and forge alliances. However, the first Foundation initially rejected his strategy. Over time, though, Hober Mallow's mercantile approach proved to be successful. Eventually, commerce took precedence over scientism as the primary means of expanding the Foundation's influence to new planets. Hober Mallow went on to become the mayor of Terminus, a role that, in Apple TV Plus's adaptation of Foundation, is referred to as the Warden of Terminus. Even after his death, Hober Mallow continued to have an impact on the Foundation's story, particularly in the general, a short story within Foundation and Empire. Foundation Season 2 in the TV series blends elements from the mayors, the merchant princes, and the general to create an original storyline with a timeline that deviates from the events in the books. So there you have it. Share your thoughts in the comments. 
Like and subscribe for more videos like this. I will see you next.